Hi, my name is Melvin Wei. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and check back for future updates. Leave your comments below. It's Thursday, June 5th, 2014, and this is a series on germinating American ginseng indoors. So I bought a new batch of seeds, 150 seeds off of eBay. I believe it cost me like $12 or maybe $13. Anyway, I decided to go with eBay because I bought my seeds last year from Amazon and that didn't work out too well. So as you can see, it's pretty hot. It's 29 Celsius indoors. It's usually pretty dry too, 36% humidity right now. And if I turn off the air conditioning, as I've just done, it's going to get a lot hotter. So there's no telling what could happen. I've heard that American ginseng seeds won't do well at higher temperatures. You know, they thrive 15 to 20 Celsius. But I have various plants where I'm going to try to plant these seeds in because I already have plants growing well in those conditions and the conditions vary along with the soil composition or because of it from pot to pot. This is the pot that houses my two Charente melon vines. It's a French kind of cultivar of the same species that is honeydew and cantaloupe. Please check it out if you're interested. So I'm going to plant 10 seeds at various depths here in various positions, some in so-called shade and some in the so-called sun. But, you know, the environment's pretty constant. It's a very gentle environment. This thick layer of sand is always moist and cool to the touch. And beneath that is mostly California hill soil. It's a very mineral-rich soil that's high in iron. It's very reddish. So I think this will be a very good environment. This is a smaller pot. These are all self-watering pots where I can water from a water tray at the bottom. That way it doesn't disturb the stuff at the top as much and make a huge mess. So I'm going to plant you know, 10 or so seeds in here at various depths. And then I'm going to layer some sand on top. I'm not just doing this for aesthetic reasons, although it does look very good. It looks like I'm at the beach, you know, because I have all this sand to look at at home in my living room. But also it prevents fungus gnats from burrowing in and out and also prevents evaporation as well so it's uh, aesthetic and very useful I like to water with 0.5 percent hydrogen peroxide to disinfect everything and oxygenate the soil this pot houses my ginger plants there are three of them this is my most successful plant growing series growing ginger from rhizome cuttings uh, check it out if you're interested I'm just layering it on sand because I've already done the planting. I forgot to hit the record button. Sometimes stuff like that happens. So, yeah, basically I chose 10 different sites around this. Uh, I think for two of them, I heard thin roots snap as I was pushing. So these plants are expanding in all different directions. And, you know, I was kind of uh, pushing my luck by planting these seeds here. But I figure it's a good environment. You know, it's a different kind of environment. It's lower on the sphagnum peat moss. It should be drier, and I don't water as often. Conditions are slightly different. So we'll see if this is a condition conducive to germination and American ginseng growth. It's getting even hotter with the air conditioning turned off. My bag of seeds is starting to steam up. Surprisingly, I thought they were bone dry. That gives me ideas. But anyway, I poured a bunch of sand into this small Pyrex dish and I have five seeds on top, 15 seeds interspersed one to two centimeters deep and I spray just a dash of distilled water to hydrate the thing. Some people have anecdotal evidence on the internet that they just left seeds in their refrigerators for a few months and good things happened, everything germinated, so we'll see if this does anything. I put 20 seeds without adding any water, doing any disinfection or anything in a bag labeled 1 Celsius. It's going to sit right next to this Pyrex dish with the sand that's slightly moist. So it's still really hot. And I'm going to put this bag here that says 30 Celsius. I gave it some air space. But these things have plenty of moisture as I've already shown you. And finally, for every series that I post involving seed germination, people always say, that the best way to germinate seeds is to use the wet paper towel method. So I got this thing nice and moist by spraying distilled water on it. And I'm going to fold it up like this. I'm not sure if that's what they mean or that's how other people are doing it. Uh, just so I can see, I'm going to put five more seeds on the top. Put like 
15 in the middle. So that's another 20 seeds devoted to this. What I'm worried about in the plastic bag is that the wet paper towel will start growing mold in as little as 24 hours. But if it doesn't, then that could be potentially a very good condition for germination. Hopefully that works. I just want one of these conditions to work. Some people think that the dark induces germination. I tend to think that light induces germination. So now we 